Hey everyone, welcome back to Building Together. In this video, I'm going to provide you with the top 10 most wanted LEGO sets as of December of 2022. Before we jump into the top 10, let's establish how I measure the concept of most wanted. Brickset.com is a fantastic repository of LEGO history, including entries from nearly every set ever produced. LEGO fans from around the world can keep track of which sets they own, as well as those that they want. This list simply looks at which sets are the most wanted according to this website. Oh, and before I forget, make sure you hit that subscribe button below the video. It would sure help us out quite a bit. Coming in at number 10 is the UCS Sandcrawler. Released in 2014, it had a retail price of $300 and contained 3,296 pieces along with 14 minifigs. Since its retirement in 2016, its value has increased to between $400 and $450. Now, as of this recording, it is wanted by 9,633 Brickset users. At number 9 is the OG UCS Millennium Falcon. At 5,197 pieces, this is one of the largest LEGO sets ever made and had a price tag to match it, coming in at $500. You got five minifigs with the set. Upon its retirement, LEGO has released an updated version that has essentially the same footprint but with more interior details and an even higher price point. Still, if you want this set brand new in a sealed box, it will set you back over $2,000. $200. Next at number 8 is yet another Star Wars set, 2013's Ewok Village. With 1,990 pieces, this set came with 17 minifigs and cost $250. This was the first on the list with more than 10,000 wants on Brickset. Retired in 2017, its value hasn't appreciated as much as some of the others on this list. Used versions are valued at a little under $400, while new versions come in at $450. The seventh set on this list is the first non-Star Wars set to make the list and is the Grand Emporium. Released as the 2010 entry into the modular building series, it had 2,182 pieces and 7 minifigs for $150. It stayed in the stores until the end of 2014, and today costs $330 for used versions and $440 for brand new. The modular preceding the Grand Emporium was the Fire Brigade. This is the sixth most wanted set by Brickset users. Available from 2009 to 2013, it came with 2,231 pieces and four minifigs. While it cost $150 back in 2009, its price has appreciated significantly since then. Used copies are valued at over $450, while new versions are at $550. Moving us into the top five is a third modular building, 2012's Town Hall. At the time, it was the largest modular building released, with 2,766 pieces and eight minifigs. It was also the most expensive modular to that date, sending fans back 200 bucks. Like the Grand Emporium, it retired at the end of 2014, and, like the Fire Brigade, its value today has increased by over 300%. Used sets are valued at over $600, and new sets are valued at nearly $850. Number four brings us back to Star Wars. In 2011, LEGO released the Super Star Destroyer. Wanted by over 11,200 Brickset users, this set contained 3,152 pieces, five minifigs, and set you back $400. Like some of the previous sets on this list, it retired in 2014. To get a used Super Star Destroyer, be prepared to pay over $700. For a new one, you'll likely be dropping over one grand. A year prior to the release of the Super Star Destroyer, LEGO introduced fans to the Imperial Shuttle. Available for only just over two years, you could purchase this set between 2010 and 2012 for 
with 2,503 pieces and five minifigs, used copies now run you $600 plus, with new ones pushing $950. The top two sets on this list are far and away the most wanted sets on Brickset. 9,600 users want the Sandcrawler, which came in at number 10, and 11,322 wanted the Imperial Shuttle. The top two, however, are wanted by well over 13,000 Brickset users. So what are they? Coming in at number two is the Green Grocer. Released in 2008, it was the first LEGO design modular building with an interior. Designed by Jamie Berard, it had 2,352 pieces and four minifigs, and cost $150. Since retiring at the end of 2010, its price has skyrocketed. Used green grocers cost nearly $1,000, and a new one is valued at close to $1,600. All right, we made it to number one. But before I reveal it, don't forget to subscribe. The most wanted LEGO set on Brickset was also a modular building designed by Jamie Berard. In fact, it was the original modular, the Cafe Corner. Available from 2007 to 2009, its price tag of $140 was the lowest of all the LEGO design modulars. With 2,056 pieces and three minifigs, it is the only LEGO design modular without an interior. Despite its relative affordability when it was released, it's a pretty pricey set these days. Used sets cost nearly $900 and a brand new copy may set you back over $2,100. Well, there you have it, the 10 most wanted sets on Brickset. Perhaps not surprisingly, all 10 are either Star Wars or modular buildings. Own any of these sets? Comment down below. Oh, and let us know what other top 10 lists you want us to do. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and always remember to keep building together.